it happens so fast. Yesterday was an example. It was really scary. Two children were hit Thursday morning in separate incidents in Montreal, including right here in front of Christois Elementary in Hunsik. A six-year-old was hit by the driver of a small school bus here after unexpectedly walking out from between two parked vehicles. The bus driver traveling down La Jeunesse was unable to avoid him. Then in downtown Montreal, a three-year-old was hit by an SUV under similar circumstances when he escaped from his guardian and was trying to cross the street. The incidents are prompting calls for more vigilance, especially around school zones. I heard a sound which really looked like two cars hitting one on another. I saw the kid falling down in front of the bus. Both the six-year-old in Ahuntsic and the three-year-old downtown suffered head injuries but are recovering well, authorities say. As ironic as it may seem, yesterday was a day where um, parents were collecting signatures to have to pressure the government. Parent Frédéric Dufresne arrived 10 minutes after the incident in Ahuntsic and signed the petition from Projet Montréal urging Quebec to give municipalities the power to install photo radars since only the province is able to do so right now. Cars go very fast. There's, there's no light under the railway. So uh, people forget that it's a school area. The two accidents came a day after Mayor Valérie Plante announced $14 million will go towards making making 32 high schools, elementary schools and daycares as well as five parks safer. Plant took to social media saying that they're appealing to the Quebec government in hopes to protect the lives of students. There's a uh, photo radar that's supposedly uh, parked in front of this school. Uh, it's barely there. I've, I think I've seen it once since the school started. In a statement, Quebec's transport ministry tells City News that work is ongoing for the next deployment of photo radars and experts are currently looking into strategies, the type and number of devices to acquire. Maybe just make no parking during school hours around the school so there's a clear visibility around the school because as much as you might want to bring down speed you know even if you're rolling at 25 if a kid runs between two cars you're not going to see him until it's too late. All people behind the wheel to be very careful when they they move around uh, places where there's children. We want them to be as safe as, safe as possible uh, and allow them to walk, you know, very, very young alone here. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.